Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can set up your Amazon Fire TV stick. All right, let's get into it. I have a Fire TV stick third generation with me and it's connected to my HP monitor for the purpose of this tutorial. Setting up a Fire TV stick is generally the same steps if you are connecting to a TV screen. All right, before you set up your Fire TV stick, you must have an Amazon account. So create one if you don't already have one. Simply visit amazon.com for users in the US and if you're outside the US. If Amazon is available in your country, then sign up in the respective country-specific Amazon websites such as amazon.co.uk for people in the UK. An Amazon account is free for anyone in the world. Then you should have a TV or PC monitor with at least one HDMI my port. The Fire TV stick needs a display to show content since it doesn't come with its own screen. You should have a power source close to your TV. The stick comes with a USB cable and a wall plug in the box so you can use these. I however prefer powering the Fire stick with one of my TV's USB ports. And then you should have a fast internet connection via Wi-Fi. The Fire TV stick connects to the internet to stream content from popular streaming services such as YouTube, Netflix, HBO, Disney Plus, and so forth. 5 Mbps internet speeds are generally recommended for content that is full HD or 1080p, and you should have at least 25 Mbps for 4K content streaming. You can also connect the Fire TV to the internet via a wired ethernet network however this will require an adapter which is sold separately with that said you are now ready to set up your fire stick now to get started insert the fire tv stick into one of your tv's hdmi ports for my case i'm using an hp monitor so i'm going to plug it into one of my monitors hdmi port now power the Fire TV stick with the included wall plug. You can also power it using one of your TV's USB ports. It's a more convenient method for me since I don't have a nearby wall socket. You may however get a warning that the Fire stick isn't getting enough power, so I generally ignore this. It will still work. The Fire stick will immediately power on. Now select the HDMI source that your Fire stick is plugged in using your TV's remote. This really varies from one TV brand to another but generally just go to sources and then select the HDMI port that your Fire Stick is plugged in. The Fire Stick display should be able to come on to your TV screen. Alright, as the Fire Stick starts up, the first thing that it will do is to set up the remote. So press the home button to pair your Fire Stick with the remote. And then go ahead and press the play pause button to start the setup process. All right, go ahead and select your language of choice. For my case, I'm going to select English. All right, you will get this USB power insufficient warning message. And that is because I'm powering my Fire Stick via my TV's USB port or my monitor's USB port. So you can go ahead and plug in the Fire Stick into an outlet using the provided power cable or wall plug. But this is not really necessary. So uh, just go ahead and use your TV's USB port or a wall socket if you have one, but it doesn't really matter. All right, and here the Fire Stick is going to ask you to set it up using the Fire TV app or using your remote. So the difference here is when you use the Fire TV app, you use your phone or tablet. And in this case, you'll use your device's um, QWERTY keyboard, which is a lot more convenient when it comes to entering your usernames and passwords. But for my case, I'm going to go ahead and set up with the remote for the purpose of this tutorial. All right, the Fire TV stick is going to start scanning for Wi-Fi networks. So just make sure that your Wi-Fi router is as close as possible to your Fire Stick. So a very good signal means that you'll have seamless streaming. You'll have a much better streaming and viewing experience. So in my case, I'm going to select the DDWRT Wi-Fi name because it is a lot better here. All right, so go ahead and enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. If successfully connected to your Wi-Fi network, the Fire Stick will now start checking for software updates. So it automatically starts downloading the updates, if any. 
and then on the screen you'll have to sign in to your amazon account as earlier i explained to use the fire stick you will need an amazon account and uh, you can sign in if you have one or create one if you don't already have one so i have an amazon account and i'm just going to sign in and to sign in you can either sign in online in which case you use your smartphone or laptop or you can scan the qr code here using your smartphone or you can go ahead and sign in with a remote when you press the menu button i wouldn't really recommend signing in with your remote because it's really painful entering in username and passwords using the virtual on-screen keyboard it's really difficult so the best option i would suggest is sign in online using your uh, smartphone or computer all you have to do is to type in amazon.com slash code on your browser and then you will have to enter auto-generated activation code to register your device with your amazon account so that's what i'm going to do all right if successful you will have this uh, welcome screen here which says your amazon fire tv stick will be registered to your account so just press continue and then the first stick will ask if it should save Wi-Fi passwords to your Amazon account. So this is just a convenience feature so that when you sign into your Amazon account on another Fire Stick, it automatically just syncs the passwords and you don't have to re-enter them again. So I'm just going to select yes for this because it's really convenient. All right, and on this screen, it will ask if it should restore Fire TV Stick. So this is for existing Fire TV customers. Say you have a Fire Stick and you're upgrading to a better version. It will ask if it should restore your Fire Stick with the apps and privacy settings and parental controls that you already set up in the previous device. So I'm just going to skip this for now. All right, and then it will try to prepare your remote again. And in this case, it just wants to configure your remote with your TV. So in this case, uh, you can use your Fire Stick remote, for example, to power off your TV or to increase volume up and down. So this process is to enable Fire Stick to use the Fire TV remote to control your TV. So it will ask for your TV brand. And since uh, my setup is simply an HP monitor, I'm just going to select an HP monitor for this case. All right, the Fire Stick is going to do some basic sound tests here to ensure that your Fire Stick remote is properly set up with your specific TV brand. The next steps are really Amazon trying to upsell you its services such as Prime here, which is its uh, video streaming service. So you can just uh, skip that for now or you can try the 30 day free trial just to check it out. The Fire Stick will also ask you to choose uh, your streaming services such as hulu uh, netflix link pandora paramount plus and so forth but you can skip this step for now and here you can also set up parental controls if this tv is going to be uh, used in a family setting for instance so i'm just going to skip that for now the setup is pretty much done now so you have this welcome screen which basically just shows some of the basic features of the fire stick and uh, how to use it so let's get into it now all right before we get into it it will ask you to choose a profile so it will default to the profile that logged onto the Firestick account uh, but you can add a profile for different people that are going to be using this fire stick you can do that right now you can do that later so i'm just going to go with a default which is the account that i used to sign up to the fire stick and voila here we go now we have the fire stick properly set up and you can see this really gorgeous screen home screen of the fire stick with all the content ready to consume all right so we have some of amazon's prime originals here of course because this is an amazon device definitely amazon is going to push its services and try to upsell them to us yeah uh you have some of the apps here netflix prime video free formerly imdb tv youtube you have the news section and and then you have amazon music yeah so there is already content to start consuming right out of the box so i find the setup process of the fire stick really easy 
All right, with the Fire TV Stick already set up, here's a quick walkthrough of the Fire TV Stick's user interface. Home here lets you easily find new content, play live TV, and access some of your favorite apps. And then the Find feature here lets you search for movies, TV shows, apps, and free content. Profiles enables Fire TV personalized recommendations, watch lists, or viewing history for each individual. You can also set up kids' profiles specifically for the young ones. You can go to settings to set up live TV channels, update your Fire TV stick, check the Wi-Fi signal strength, install third-party apps, manage storage, close background apps, and much more. All right, guys, that's how you can set up your Fire Stick. Like and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next one.